Hey y'all, welcome back to MK3 Firearms. Today, we're checking out something a little off the beaten path for us. Of course, we're used to uh, doing all those Browning High Powers, but before the Browning High Power, there, or the P35 as they called it, there was the 1911. Um, of course, before the Wonder Pistol, we had John Moses Browning's uh, probably most great or famous contribution to firearms, the 1911A1. This is from Springfield, and this is a Commander. So just a little bit shorter slide, same size grip. Um, it's your classic uh, government model. As far as the work performed, we'll go ahead and start up at the front. Of course, sticking to our roots, we did a high power cut. It looks really handsome on a 1911s. So we like to do that a lot if we're working on them. Um, of course, this has the, the factory bull barrel uh, done in graphite black along with all the controls. And that's gonna contrast the Cerakote. Uh, this is a custom blend, almost like a sniper gray metallic of sorts, a little bit lighter than a sniper gray. Of course, as we're accustomed to, the Trigicon HD up front, that bright yellow contrast dovetailed in, and that rolls right back into the 1911 mil spec from Heine. Awesome. Uh, on these sights for the 1911s, of course, we don't have to notch them because the hammer's low enough. So it just folds right up in there. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is a ringed hammer, of course, we've added. Lots of actual uh, what are they, Wilson combat parts. Their slide release, their safety. Uh, we did have the trigger in there as well, as well as their mainspring housing. Uh, the rat tail, uh, grip safety. It's kind of like a beaver tail of sorts, but it doesn't wrap the frame. It stays in the middle, and um, it still gives a really nice protection from the, uh, the hammer bite. If you have large hands like me, or even extra large hands, you're gonna be okay with that, as long as they're not like Andre the Giant hands, I guess. But yeah, uh, it looks aesthetically pleasing. We went ahead and just uh, beveled it all out, rounded it so it matches the curvature of the hammer, as you can see. Get behind there. Really cool. So, it looks good and functional. As a carry piece, it's not going to be too sharp either because you're going to carry this in uh, condition one. It's never going to be able to get you right there. Pretty cool. As far as trigger job goes, classic 1911 trigger job for us. You're going to have a two-stage, so a slight take-up, a nice clean break, audible reset, break again, audible reset. Awesome. This thing just turned out beautiful. Of course, we did a high undercut, and that rolls into the faceting. Not that you need too much more grip texture uh, with these bogies. I mean, these things are definitely, definitely very uh, gripping. But uh, texturing on the front strap and the back strap, of course, the mainspring housing and the uh, rat tail itself are all faceted and textured. So beautiful. These are the LOK bogey grips, so really aggressive. And the G10, the black and gray, contrasting the black and gray Cerakote just really ties it all together. Nice little cohesive package, you know. We're doing these things, you know, because they're custom pistols, so aesthetics is everything. Or as much as you can add to it in this package. Um, of course, we can do some higher end things on here. We can do, you know, different finishes. There's a couple other upgrades we could do, but in the budget uh, for this customer uh, and what we gave him, I think it worked out absolutely perfect. But yeah, pretty cool. Springfield Armory, 1911A1. We love 1911s, who doesn't? The market for us is a little saturated in that, and that's why we don't too venture into it too much. But we still can. I mean, obviously, um, Brownie High Powers are kind of our shtick. We kind of we kind of own that um, industry <laughs> at the moment. But hey, I'm sure some competition will pop up eventually. Anyways, y'all, questions, comments, concerns, leave them. And as always, you know we will answer accordingly. Until next time.